wanted to congratulate you on your brand new spa. Um, I want to show you how easy it is to get it all started up now. So first thing you'll want to uh, locate is your drain caps, which will be in this owner's manual bag. Uh, your electrician has most likely taken this out of your equipment door, but if you can't find it, it should be in there. You just take this door off with these six screws on each side, and it should be sitting right there. Once you find it, take the drain caps and screw them on to, the, to your two drains located right there and right there. So once you have your drain caps on, you'll want to go ahead and fill the spa. There is a specific way to do this. You'll either have one, three, or five filters. There's a, one with a gray cap that you'll just simply unscrew, and you'll find a hollow pipe down there. That hollow pipe, you just shove the hose as far down as it goes and start filling. You'll want to fill right to the bottom of that pillow right there. Once the spot is filled, you'll be ready to plug it in. If you're on 110 volts, you'll have this receptacle that your electrician has hooked up to the side and you'll just plug it in simply right there. If you're on 220, the bolts will be here with a breaker box, and you will simply flip these breakers up into the on position. So now the fun part. Firing it up for the first time, we want to get the jets going. Right here, you'll just hit those jets. You might have two jet pumps, one jet pump here and another jet pump here. If you do, go ahead and press the button right next to that to activate all your jets. So we'll want to make sure that water is running to all the jets. First thing, spin this diverter valve in 360 degrees back to the 12 o'clock position. Each large jet base plate can also be spun to individually turn your jets on and off. So let's make sure all those are on. And lastly over here, you have these little air mixture valves which increase the pressure to the jets that they are located right by. So now we're ready to get into your water care treatment. This is the package that we've supplied with the spa during the delivery. Uh, everything in here, we start off with your pH alkalinity up, pH alkalinity down, your test strips. In here is what we call a silver ion cartridge, your soak balance, and your enhanced shock. So the first thing, you'll take your silver ion cartridge located in this little envelope here. There'll be two pieces that you'll want to take out. You'll have a handle here and the cartridge itself. You'll just pop this on, tighten it by spinning it a little bit, and you'll put it in underneath the filter compartment here. Now just like filling up the spa underneath this gray cap, that hollow pipe is right where you'll drop this. Just simply put it down there. Screw the cap back on, make sure it's tight, and you're all set with the silver cartridge. The next step is to add your enhanced shock. This product has a little bit of chlorine in there, so this is going to kill all the bacteria. You'll take your cap, depending on the gallons of water, you'll want to add whether either one tablespoon or two tablespoons. For a prodigy here, we'll do one tablespoon, which is up to this first th or middle thread right here. Fill it up right there, and you'll hit your jets, dump it right in there. So now that we've had that hand shock circulate with those jets running for about five minutes, we're ready to turn those off and balance your water with the, these test strips right here. So let's get into the readings on your test strips. It'll give you five different readings, but to make it easy on you, the, the uh, chemicals that we gave you are really only going to be focused on these middle three, your chlorine, which is FCL, alkalinity, and pH here. You can pretty much disregard your hardness and your bromine altogether. So first off, we'll focus on your alkalinity and your pH right here. The goal is to get it in this OK range, so when you dip your test strip in there and you match these colors up, you want to make sure that they end up in that OK range. If they're not, we give you two products to move them either up or down. So let's go ahead and remove one of these test strips. Dip it into the water, swirl it around for two seconds, and match it up right here. The goal is to get it 
right in this OK range. We want to match those colors and make sure we're in the OK on both the alkalinity and the pH. So as you can see, as I just scroll this over to match those colors, we're right about there. So for our water, we're perfectly balanced right now in those OK ranges. But let's say we're too high at the 180 or 8.4. We want to use the pH alkalinity down to get it into that OK range. If we're too low, we want to use the pH alkalinity up. So while the alkalinity and the pH are two different readings on the test strip, you'll notice that these bottles are labeled pH alkalinity up and pH alkalinity down because they will adjust both the pH and the alkalinity. In terms of adjusting these pH and alkalinity, you can refer to the side of the bottle, but as a rule of thumb, we generally say about one capful per square on that pH and alkalinity reading will move it up or down one square. Be sure to add these products with the jets running for about five to 10 minutes. So the last step before you can enjoy your spa is to add your silk balance. Now you'll either add three or four ounces, simply shake up the bottle, go ahead and pour it in that cap and pour it right into the filter compartment with no jets running. Now this product is going to lock your pH and your alkalinity into that OK range after you've balanced it. So it is very important to keep that in that balanced range before you add this. So just to quickly summarize everything, we went ahead and filled up the spa, we added the silver cartridge, we added the enhanced shock, then we went ahead, balanced the water with the pH and the alkalinity, added our silk balance product. Uh, other than that, if you have any further questions, feel free to uh, just contact your sales rep. Um, other than that, thanks for watching and go ahead and enjoy your spa.